Hi, my name is Patra Jan On. I am the um, PhD candidate um, of the EOH Department, uh, Graduate School of Public Health, University of Pittsburgh. Today, I will present my poster, and the title is Recurrent TBP1 Promoter Mutation as a Potential Driver of the Telomere Maintenance in Melanoma. So, um, right now, I'm working on my research project at the outer lab in the pulmonary department, School of Medicine, and I am interested to examine the um, telomere maintenance role in cancer. So about 85% uh, of the cancer cells use the telomerase-dependent mechanism to maintain the telomere. And another 15% um, of the tumor use another mechanism called ALT. For my project, I will try to find the novel mechanism of the telomere maintenance in cancer. So a little bit background about my project. Telomere are centrally involved um, in the capability of the unlimited proliferation. Telomere maintenance mechanism are the fundamental hallmarks of cancer. Telomerase is a unique reverse transcriptase that is responsible for maintaining the telomere uh, length. Telomerase reverse trans um, reactivation has been implicated in human tumorigenesis. Somatic mutation in the third promoter are found in the majority of the melanoma and it can increase the gene expression. So um, the third promoter mutation in the cutaneous melanoma is first discovered by two research groups. And nowadays they become a landmark paper of the third promoter mutation, two landmark paper that I mentioned from Science 2013. Third promoter mutation can arise from both somatic and the germline mutations. First paper talk about um, somatic mutation in melanoma. And the second one is about the germline mutation in melanoma. Um, in third promoter region, um, um, its mutation can increase the transcription activity and two mutually exclusive of the third promoter mutation found in two thirds of the mel melanoma. Meaning if they already have one mutation, they won't have another mutation. Another landmark paper for the third um, germline mutation, uh, promoter mutation in melanoma prone family this mutation can create the normal EGS transcription factor by the motif leads to the third gene upregulation. And our question is how the one third that has uh, the third promoter wild type can maintain the telomere link. And um, TPP1 is a part of the sheltering complex that has been reported to play the role in telomere length maintenance by recruiting telomerase and increase its processivity. TPP1 has been reported to have a two isoform in human, as shown here in figure 1a, um, short isoform and the long isoform. Um, so previous study about TPP1 back in 2004 um, Dr. Titia Delanga and colleagues first identified TPP1 and named it PIP1 from POT1 interacting protein 1. So TPP1 can bind to POT1 and the TIN2 together, bring them to bind to TERP1 and TERP2 complex. They found that if they knock down TPP1 with the shRNA, leads to telomere elongation. Another paper from the cell um, report 2019, Dr. J.K. Nandakuma and colleagues found the different manners between TPP1 long and TPP1 short. Only TPP1 short can drive telomere um, um, elongation when they did the stable expression in TPP1 of TPP1 in HeLa cells. But TPP1 long drive telomere shortening. Um, so our um, objective or goal of the study that here we will explore the hypothesis that the expression and the um, 
of the promoter of the TPP1 are sufficient to increase TPP1 express and promote um, telomere maintenance. And we will functionally um, characterize TPP1 promoter and the promoter variant, examine the effect of the TPP1 expression in telomere length and um, characterize the type and the distribution of the telomere length um, promoting, promoting mutation. So here um, in figure 1a here, um, as I mentioned, um, TPP1 has two isoform, the long isoform and the short isoform. Both isoform um, has the only different part um, at the in terminal region here. Um, only TPP1 long has in terminal region, but TPP1 um, short doesn't have this region. So um, uh, in panel 1B here, it shows top five recurrent somatic mutation detected in the sheltering gene data from the ICGC data portal. So as you can see here, um, ACDL62F, um, they detected eight donors from um, more than 700 donors. And the next one is ACDL51F. They found uh, four donors from more than 700 donors. And these two um, var variants here um, located um, upstream to the methionine 87 of the TPP1 chart, meaning they can act as the endogenous uh, promoter variants of the TPP1 chart, or they are. Uh, they are the uh, cluster of the variants of the TPP1 long or coding variants. So next we wanted to know um, whether they can create the de novo transcription factor binding motif. We use the ProMorph software as a screening tool to predict the, uh, the binding site, the de novo binding size of the transcription factor. So in minus 108 C2T mutation, um, it can create ETS um, transcription binding motif similar to the third promoter mutation. And another one is minus 75 C2T mutation, um, create T, um, transcription factor two um, binding motif. And as we all know that uh, TPP, uh, the transcription factor two is, it, is an essential um, transcription factor um, that can initiate the transcription initiation um, in, in the protein. So next, uh, we'd like to ask um, whether these uh, promoter mutation can um, alter TPP1 transcription activity or not. We use the luciferase activity to evaluate the transcription activity. So as you can see here in peak, uh, figure 2a, um, in both uh, melanoma cell line, LOX melanoma and the MEL 624, from um, the minus 108 C2G variant, it can significantly increase um, the transcription activity about threefold, two to threefold compared to the wild type. And while um, um, the TPP1 Pro minus 75 CGT can in um, significant, um, non-significant increase the transcription activity about twofold compared to the wild type. We also did the experiment in two nitric cells, but um, we can see the, um, the alteration of the transcription activity from these variants. So we also validate our experiment um, by using the uh, third promoter uh, mutation as a positive control. As you can see here in um, all um, cell type, it works well with the third promoter mutation. And um, as you can see here, it's increased um, from five-fold to 15-fold in the melanoma cell lines in the third variant, third promoter variants. 
So next, we want to know um, whether uh, the TPP1 and the third promoter mutation can um, co-occur in um, the same uh, melanoma or tumor or not. We collaborate with the UPMC Human Cancer Center to access the tissue biobank uh, of melanoma, and we can sequence the third and the TPP1 promoter from this tumor. As you can see here, uh, we survey 15 survey melanoma cell lines, and we found only one um, cell line that has a TPP1 and third promoter co-occur. And um, next, we want to answer the question that whether this variant can drive telomere um, lengthening or not. So we generate the HeLa stable cell line overexpress with TPP1. As you can see here in the uh, figure 3A TPP1 chart, can drive telomere um, elongation compared to the parental cells. And on the other hand, in TPP1 long, it can drive telomere lengthening compared to the parental cells. Um, this plot is um, at day 90 of the cells uh, prop, uh, propagation. And if you look at the plot here, um, we did the experiment from day 30, day 50, and day 90. And we can see the trend that TPP1 short can increase the, uh, the telomere length, but TPP1 long cannot uh, increase the telomere length. And um, it can drive telomere shortening. So we also validate the protein by Western blood. And this is the important point of this project that I hope that you can see here if we um, transfect the genomic construct in the, um, the transient transfection, also in transient transfection and the stable cell lines we can see only TPP1 short isoform from the genomic DNA, um, meaning that um, we cannot find TPP1 long from the genomic construct. And these variants act as the uh, endogenous TPP1 uh, promoter variants. Um, we use the uh, coding DNA um, and transfect as well. And in short isoform, only um, see the short isoform. Long isoform can see both long isoform and a little bit of short isoform. And these um, variants here, um, I am um, we mutate methionine AD7 to alanine in order to get rid of the short isoform. As you can see here, we can see only long isoform from the M87A. So finally, in our conclusion, so our findings suggest that TPP1 is the predominant form that express in cells. And the cluster of the novel somatic variants we identify may alter its expression. TPP1 short expression is sufficient to drive telomere lengthening. Our findings um, support that modeling TPP1 expression may alter the novel mechanism of telomere maintenance in cancer. So um, lastly, I would like to acknowledge the outer lab um, where this exciting project initiated. And I would like to thank the people in the, the lab, especially my advisor, Dr. Jonathan Auder, and to give me super cool um, project here. And I would like to thank Dr. John Kirkwood to give us the precious um, melanoma tissue samples for um, TURT and the TPP1 sequencing. Lastly, um, we, have to, we have the great collaboration with Dr. Carol Greider Lab at John Hopkins uh, with the great advice and funding. And I also thank um, Carla Connelly for the beautiful Southern blood. And um, last and lastly, I would like to thank you for listening. And if you have any question or concern, 
you please contact me. Um, my email address is pac at pit.edu, and I am happy to answer your questions. <laughs>